Hey, how's it going? Going pretty good here. There are sometimes some frustrating elements to doing voiceovers. Um, I think I may have made another video about this, but just recently, uh, this morning, I almost lost a, a regular client over uh, over some stupid shit. Um, it was over uh, me correcting a part of the script that had a malformed sentence, and they're one of the clients who, you know, when I when I when I first started doing work for them. They originally were fine with it taking two or three days. That's the way my profile, my, my gig on Fiverr is set up, you know. Two days for, for a shorter script, and if it starts to become long, it, 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 the due date is later. And they were going to switch to someone else who, who didn't take so long. So, okay, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do these in, in, in a more rushed fashion. But uh, then they became someone, you know, once they, I start, they started wanting it rushed, they'll give me the order, and then they'll disappear until close to the time that the order is due. And it's just like, you know, what, are, what am I supposed to do with these malformed sentences? Because sentences. the grammar is what tells how, when I move up or down. And if there's, if there's a malformed sentence, you know, what am I supposed to say? How am I supposed to deliver this section between these commas, you know? And so I changed, I, this one time I changed the word is to to and removed the comma and it, and it made sense then, grammatically anyway. But they're like, no, that's not what we want to say. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with a sentence. I'm like, yeah, there is, you know? I, they, and they just seem clueless about it. And they're from the UK. It's just like, come on, uh, th this isn't one of the many clients I have from Pakistan, you know? And uh, and they're like, oh, and you were supposed to deliver it by the end of morning your time. Yeah, I delivered it by 11 a.m. That's still morning. That's not noon, you know? And they were going to drop me as, as, you know, I was going to lose them as a client, and it just, it sucks. Um, so, client, am I saying that right? Well, anyway, um, I was going to lose them as a person that I, that I do orders for. So, yeah, sometimes, man, sometimes when I'm talking, one of the things that, that, makes me makes it difficult for me to word things is I'll question what a regular word means in the middle of me saying it. I think that's kind of what causes some people to stutter because you're like, oh, is it this word or this word? Or is it this word or this word? Which is the right word? And, and then you'll stutter. But uh, you know, other, other things, though, is just, you know, that people will, ex will think that Doing these voiceovers is just super easy and quick. It should be quick. Why does it take you so long? And I'm like, well, I don't live in a very quiet area. You know, over on the, on the street I live, there's every time a car goes by, you know, unless I'm already in the middle of a sentence and there aren't any stops in the sentence at all, you know, that sound of that car going by is going to make its way into the recording. You know, uh... Then there's Pacific Avenue over this way, uh, almost two blocks over, a block and a half over. And uh, that's a busy street, and people sometimes race their cars on it, and, and so on. Then there's the cars that go boom, the, you know, the rap that are playing bass really, really loud. And some of them have some really impressive stereos and, and speaker setups, I'll say that, but it sure gets in the way of the recording, so I have to, to stop and then wait for that sound to pass and then continue. And uh, it's easiest just to keep recording and just edit out that point than to actually stop the recording and start it. So then there's a, there's a train that, that will sometimes uh, be, I don't know how far away exactly it is. Well, yeah, I do, but I don't know how to, how many blocks away is that? Anyway, that they'll, they'll sound their horn and it's like sometimes it takes 20 minutes for that vehicle to finally to be far enough away that it doesn't make its way into the recording. I don't know why the trains are sometimes going that slow, but whatever. Um, 
Then there's uh, McCord Air Force Base with all the all the 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 planes that go overhead. It, it's you know. So. And then I'm a perfectionist in the recording. I will sometimes have to say a number of sentences, you know, a dozen times. Sometimes they'll give me sentences that there's a major tongue twister in there, and I'll, I've I've had to say some things, you know, thirty or so times because it's just like, man, this even. And then I'll have to practice saying these t just two words together a whole bunch of times, and then try to say the the, sen the full sentence again. Sometimes I'll have to split up the sentence. Um, and a good way to, to split it up too, as long as you use the same inflections each time on t or s or k, you can split it right, at, you know, you can split it between, you know, two sets of recordings right on the k s or t and it works. So, um, but, uh, yet it, it, Man, then there's, then there's when I'll get I'll get someone that wants me to say something that's blatantly worded like a commercial, something no one would say naturally. No one's going to ask these questions. No one's going to make these statements just naturally. It, it's blatantly a commercial, and they're saying, "No, you need to say it more casually." You're not very good at your job, are you? I had one person say that. I'm like, "Excuse me, you know what?" I, I'm I'm just supposed to do magic because I do voiceovers and that means I can I can take something that's worded like a commercial and make it not sound like a commercial. I mean, there are some people who can manage to do that. Uh, Samuel Samuel L Jackson can can do that sometimes. I don't know how he manages it with his Capital One commercials. He does an amazing job at that. I mean, say what you want about him uh uh, selling out for doing the commercials, but damn, he does a good job at it. I, I, I don't know how he manages. So, you know, uh, so there are some people can, who can really do magic, but as far as that goes, but you know, uh, yeah, give me something that sounds a little more casual and I'll, I'll do it. God, there's this one, the, uh, wasn't the word profitability, but it was, it was talking about the brand, the, some marketing word that that gets commonly used the blah of the brand of 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 uh, I can't remember what beer it was either you know and I was just like you got to be kidding me how how am I supposed to say that in a casual way <laughs> I remember there was there was many many years ago in my 20s I uh, worked for a while as at at the Tacoma Mall as one of those people who stand around with a clipboard and try to get people to uh, answer some marketing questions. And uh, <laughs> I'll never forget there is this one for for potato chips. I think it was for Pringles. Was it Pringles or was it? Well, anyway, they were they were saying, oh, if 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 Pringles had a personality, which one would it be? And they they list out you know, shy, confident, you know all these all these descriptions, and they're supposed to answer, you know, what personality potato chips have. <laughs> Marketing is so absurd sometimes, but uh, and you know there are some people who try to say that commercials don't have that much of an effect on us. But they do. I mean, if you remember anything about a commercial later on, or if some situation happens in front of you and you're suddenly reminded of a commercial, they've done their job. That's they, they want they want to insert themselves into your consciousness. That's that's how that works. That's what a successful uh, commercial campaign is, unless it's. Something that makes you think of the product negatively, and I guess that's... But, you know, you're still thinking about it, so, you know. It just seems that, that no publicity is bad publicity, right? Well, if it reminds you of E. coli or something, I guess that would be a, a, an exception to that, but... <sighs> anyway, um, I guess I'm just rambling now, so... But uh, yeah, sometimes doing voiceovers is a pain. 
Um, and sometimes what what clients seem to want is just is just not reasonable. And they'll expect magic for, for the price that I charge on Fiverr. So um, I guess I don't know what more to say. Uh, banana. <laughs>